Welcome to the Kids Colorful World. Fantastic Facts. Welcome to the world of honeybees, where every task has a purpose. Let's first explore the life cycle of a honeybee. Then we learn how honey is made. Honeybee life cycle. It all begins with the queen bee lays the eggs. Where does the queen lay her eggs? She lays her eggs in hexagon-shaped wax cells built by worker bees. She lays them right in the hive in special areas called the brood nest. The queen decides whether to lay fertilized or unfertilized eggs. Fertilized eggs become female worker bees, while unfertilized ones become male drones. How can you tell the difference between worker bee eggs and drone eggs? Great question! Worker bee eggs are laid in smaller cells, while drone eggs are placed in larger ones. After about three days, the eggs hatch into tiny larvae. Worker bees feed these larvae royal jelly for the first few days, then switch to a mix of pollen and nectar. Hey! Hey! Do they cover the larvae with anything? Yes! After about six days, the larvae are fully grown, and the workers cap the cells with wax. Inside these cozy capped cells, the larvae spin cocoons and enter the pupa stage. What happens during the pupa stage? Oh, this is the transformation stage. The pupa grows legs, wings, and eyes, and its body develops into an adult bee. After around 12 days, the adult bee chews through the wax cap and emerges into the hive, ready to take on its role. That's incredible. What do the new bees do next? Hey! Hey! Newly emerged bees start as nurse bees, taking care of the brood. What is a brood? Ah, uh, good question. The brood is like the nursery of the hive. It's where the baby bees, eggs, larvae, and pupae are cared for by worker bees until they grow into adults. As they grow older, they take on different jobs like cleaning, building wax cells, guarding the hive, and finally foraging for nectar and pollen. That's incredible. How honey bees create liquid gold. Now, are you ready to learn how honey is made? Yes. Let's go. Hey. Did you know bees collect nectar to make honey, but also gather pollen? Wait, why do they gather pollen? Is it yummy for them? Great question! Pollen is like a superfood for bees. It's full of proteins, vitamins, and nutrients that help them grow strong and healthy. Worker bees use their legs to gather it from their hairy bodies and pack it into little baskets on their hind legs called corbiculae. Corbicu, what? That sounds fancy. Corbiculae, it's just a fun name for their pollen baskets. They carefully pack the pollen and carry it back to the hive. What do they do with all that pollen? They use it to feed their baby bees, called larvae, and to keep themselves strong. Now let's 
Let's talk about nectar. Bees use their long tongues to sip nectar from flowers. While they're at it, their fuzzy bodies brush against the flower's pollen. Hey! Hey! So they get pollen and nectar at the same time? That's so cool! Exactly! They store the nectar in a special part of their bodies called a honey stomach. Once their bags are full, they fly back to the hive. What happens at the hive? Oh, the real magic begins! Bees pass the nectar mouth to mouth to add special enzymes. This starts turning the nectar into honey. They spread it into honeycomb cells, fan it with their wings to dry it, and seal it with wax to keep it fresh. Wow! Bees are like little chefs. But why do they need so much honey? Honey is their main energy source, especially in winter when flowers are scarce. They eat it to stay warm and keep their energy up. How much honey can one bee make? A single bee makes only about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in its whole life. That's why it takes so many bees working together to fill just one jar. That's incredible. Bees really know how to work as a team. They sure do. Every bee plays an important role, and together they make something amazing. Isn't nature incredible? Love learning about bees? Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe hey. for more fun and hey. educational adventures. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching.